What up, what up, what up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Hi, Vibe Cross Watcher. I love you. Sending you so much love, lighting, healing energy. Welcome, returning subscribers, day ones. And I thank you for all your support, your love, your likes, your subscribes, your everything, Gemini. I love you. Keep in mind, it's a general message. It will not resonate with everybody, nobody. So only take what fits for you and your situation and leave the rest, okay? Don't force anything. Choir, come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three, oh, T-Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective. T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective. T-Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective. Check us out and see what we're about. Mm. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Okay, um, Spirit, what's going on, Holy Spirit? What, what's happening? I'm trying to get a tap in. Let's tap in. I'm always tapped in, but I'm trying to sort out what they want me to tell you in a sense and what I'm trying to feel because somebody's very emotional and all over the place about an ending, okay? So maybe you're emotional about an ending, Gemini, or a cancer could be emotional, or a baby mama for my menses, they could be emotional about an ending, Okay, a partnership. So somebody's all in their feelings. They cannot believe that you've ended this shit and you done moved on with your life. Oh, that's where we're going. They cannot believe. Somebody is in such disbelief, child. They never, whoever you are, whoever you are, you, you're a big deal to the world. Okay, I'm just saying you have a contract in the ethers for sure. And um, you walked away from this energy. They really are disbelief that you walked away and left them behind and closed out a cycle. And now you could be um, some type of superstar, maybe. And they're all in their head. So that's like, um, I don't know what celebrity, it is celebrities high profile. Because I uh, look, it is what it is. But that's like you dating somebody before they became a celebrity or a star or whatever the case may be. And then you walked away from them or they walked away from you. Whoever you have kids with or love for or something, you were going back and forth possibly. But anyway, it's like you walked away from them, closed out a cycle and you came a star and a celebrity. And now this person's all entrapped in their head. Now that's one side of it. Okay. Or you just walked away from them to heal. You don't have to be your celebrity, but I'm just getting that energy with this world and then the star. And then you walked away to collaborate with something else. And then you took off. And somebody, look at how she clutching her pearls. Okay, she clutching her pearls or he clutching his pearls. And he cannot believe that you have walked away and closed out a cycle from them. And they feel imprisoned and entrapped because you was right at the grasp of their hands. And they let you walk away or you got, the, you got away. You was the one that got away, Gemini. And now they feel, I don't know what to do without you now. Well, what was this queen? What, hold on, let me get one more and then I'm going to figure out what the hell she was or he was doing. Honey, they ain't regret forever whatever they did to you or however they treated you because they imbalanced now. They probably juggled you. Um, Yeah, but now they feel imbalanced because, honey, whatever you do for work, they feel left out of the cold now, honey. They feel because you about to blow up. And I'm hearing I'm hearing that song by, uh, is it Fergie? That fabulous Fabulous, fabulous life. So you about to live a fabulous life or she know you about to live a fabulous life or you about to walk away to a star if you a man. So you're about to leave a baby mama situation, okay, to go walk away to collaborate with some type of star. And that could be a healer. They don't have to be a celebrity, but I'm getting heavy that though. They're worldwide. They're, worldwide. they're known in the world, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And this person's all in their emotions, like, oh, my God, how can you leave me? Like, how can you? Oh, she's her she, voice is all shaking and weak and shit. We've been together. You're just going to leave me and Vanessa out in the cold? Child, oh, honey, Gemini, that's how they, Gemini, that's, this is you. 
Okay, or Gemini, this is going to be somebody in your energy. But I feel this is you. Okay, you the star. You walked away. Okay, you sure did. You walked away from mental entrapment and feeling imbalanced and shit. Because whoever you was with before this baby mama, her ass is off kilter. I'm just saying, and you had to move away because, and that's how you got into some, tea, some collaboration or something like that. But Jim and I, here you are, and they, this, whoever this baby mama feel like backstabbed and betrayed. Okay? And for my men to say I don't pick up the energy, I mean, I've done many readings about this raggedy, crusty, I don't know, baby mama. That is holding on to you and mad because you done moved on. So if I say he, she, them, they, whatever, it's the energy that I'm picking up. And if you're a male and it's the opposite, then you flip that ish. You hear me? But anyway, somebody feels backed down and betray your baby mama feel back. And for my ladies, you do the same thing. You know what I mean? You don't have no problems or issues. It's just the men's that be complaining. You know how sometimes they big babies. No offense, men. You know I love you. But, um, and the men, you already know some of your, your brothers are little weaklings and they be, you know, complaining about things that they don't need to complain about. But anyway, your baby mama feels backstabbed and betrayed, Gemini, because you done balanced some shit out with your life. And then you ended up in some type of wheel of fortune. The wheel turned in your favor and then you got away. I'm hearing you, ooh, whoever, whoever you are, and that's the truth. I, I hear it's hard to escape. Oh my God, who is this spirit? What is this Queen of Cups energy? Because she feel like, oh, she was going to be victorious and successful with you, baby daddy. But you ghosted and started a whole nother family. So it could be a family dynamic. That's very toxic that you escaped from, spirit tells me. Okay? This uh, Queen of Cups has toxic family members who are all in cahoots and collaborate with their ass. Shit, hell, they could be a star. You could be a star. Your baby mama could be a star. Anybody can be a star. But if you're not a celebrity star in the world wide stage, then you're a star in God's eyes in the world. You know what I mean? That star seed, star angel, star baby, okay? But I'm not getting this This queen of cups being no star seed. She's something else. And I can't, I don't see it on the table right now. I just see her being in balance and in regret. And she possibly throwing a tantrum and... Throwing cups and bottles and juices and water all over the place. Like, she's imbalanced because you walked away and you moved away. Okay, I don't know why I'm picking up Kabbalah bitch up in here. She done try to send some spirit to you to try to cause you some type of imbalance and shit. And she mad that shit ain't working because you moving. You standing in your power, whoever you are, baby. You are standing in your power and the will is on your side because you're protected by God and that is the truth because you're so full of love and that's really what's getting you through is your heart chakra, the love, okay, that you have for yourself, you have for God, you have for the people around you, you know what I mean, your intentions are pure and you have somebody raggedy in your energy that's mad about it, okay, ooh, honey, she is, ooh, she want, ooh, what is wrong with her, she is mad because you this, all I do is win, 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 no matter what oh my gosh gemini high vibe your baby mama who or it could be a baby daddy now for my women's is hold on y'all let me pick up the card that she wants you to hit the floor she wants you to be the king of swords in reverse whoever you are oh she had to make me get up honey she is angry she wants you to get up out your seat and come to her i want to see what the hell is wrong with her but see men's is she wants you to be the king of cups in reverse because all you do is win no matter what and you done go to the bitch and you go within or something you done did that's different. And you at the ten of pentacles. Damn. Okay. I see you. Yeah, you in the spotlight. You definitely in the spotlight. Okay. And all she can do is look at you from afar as you continue to manifest your best life in the spotlight. Lord have mercy. Yeah, you in the Ace of Cups right now, so you have a new beginning, yes. Because whoever this baby mama energy is, she made you feel like you was walking on tightrope, and then she would play games and talk about she going to balance shit out with you. And then you, and then every time you were around this person, it was uncomfortable because you couldn't say certain things. Or when you were, were on talking terms with this person, you were like, feel like you were walking on tightrope, eggshells, very tense energy. Um, I'm getting narcissistic energy. So your baby mama's a narcissistic energy. Very controlling, wanting to win at all costs. They're feeling defeated right now. Okay? And they feel entrapped by the devil. They're very toxic, by the way. Did I say that they're toxic? They're trying to keep you trapped and chained in some way, form, or fashion. Possibly them chill runs. Lord have mercy. King of Swords, look! She's trying to keep you trapped. 
or she thinks she got you trapped. She's thinking about how it used to be, how back in the day. She need to move forward. So spirit, why does Gemini, why does my men's need to know this? What is, what's going on with this baby mama? Why, why do they need to know anything? You seem like you're doing fine, sir. Okay, you're doing well. You're, you're, you're going within. You're very spiritual, very grounded. Okay, I'm getting emperor energy from this chariot. You know what I mean? That's the energy that I'm getting. So you, this, it, you, clearly you're a father with this. This is your baby's mama. It doesn't have to be. It could be a maternal figure or something. But I'm getting heavy family, baby mama energy. Okay. What was wrong with the baby mama? Why Gemini lead the baby mama? What was her problem? What's going on with her? She's She don't know what the hell she want to do in life. She's confused, honey. Just confused. Always wanting to do something. Always out in the streets. Always trying to party all the time. Being seen. It's just too much, causing illusions and confusions and everything, possibly lying to you, even though the Seven of Swords ain't here. But I'm getting just causing an illusion, confusion, wouldn't be honest. It's just like too much. Yeah. And and, and look, and she probably stank too, low-key. Not, I'm saying from the inside out, okay? It's not like you walk past this woman and she stinks because she is somewhere in the worldwide stage, so I don't think she can just go around fuming. But... Somewhere around her, maybe she just dibbles and dabbles in death. Because I did get the Kabbalah bitch when I seen the Six of Swords. For whatever reason, the spirit had integrated in me to tell me that. And it's a Kabbalah bitch who's... They're imbalanced, confused, sad, mad at their life. Their family got something to do with it. Their family deals in death or keeps them stagnated. Or they can't move forward. They always fussing and fighting about some shit. This is something that you just had to lay to rest at the end of the day. Because you need your peace, man. You do. You needed your peace or woman, okay? Oh, but now they're exhausted because they can't seem to make you the king of cups in reverse. Now, that, But honestly, they feel like you're the king of cups in reverse to them. And you're not, though. You're not. You're just moving forward, taking charge of your life, getting good fortune and success. And this person feels like they missed the opportunity. Why are they so sad? I don't feel the love was really genuine, because they don't know what the fuck to do with their life. So you, I mean, I'm just saying you dodged a bullet. And they was going to cause a tower. Or they causing towers. Or whatever this relationship was or is or has been. Was built on a faulty foundation. Because y'all had kids together. Or somebody got pregnant. Okay. Somebody wanted to be, share your spotlight with you. So they wanted to hold on to you. Child doing moon magic. So you don't move nowhere. Yeah, but you got away. You the one who got away. Okay, yes. It could have been five people involved to hold you back and keep you in here. Keep you in here. And the, whatever that dynamic is. Okay, I'm getting three women possibly. Could be up to five people. I don't know. But it is a family dynamic with this Ten of Pentacles. And they be doing dark shit in the dark. And I think something might have backfired on the baby mama low key, high key, low. Okay, yes, honey. Something backfired on the baby mama. Okay, mm-hmm, with this moon magic, okay, the bitch, ooh, she need to go let, ooh, trying to hold on to you and hold on to, mm, -mm. she need to let go, when you see, when she starts to interfere in the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune is like you trying to turn the hand of God, and I don't know anything or anyone or any source or any, nothing that can turn the hand of God, and then also she trying to stop God, with the chariot card as well, that's a major arcana of you moving forward. And I don't know anybody, that's like stopping the wheel, the hand of God, the fated event. I've never yet seen anyone to stop this chariot for, for a forward movement either as well. And then she's trying to go up against the world. I mean, the world is God. How are you going to go up against God when he closes out a cycle and he's, this was cause, this is a fated event. The wheel of fortune is a fated event. Okay, the, the its ending was a fated event for you to move forward, whoever you are, masculine. And don't feel bad about it. Maybe some of you feel bad because the baby mama wants you to feel bad. But no, I feel you feel free and relieved. You really do. You feel like you could be yourself. You take care of your kids. You're moving on. And this person's still stuck because they still got some type of emotion for you because they're looking at you. Well, what about our family? Maybe she got her titties hanging out all the time. You tired of her? You know, with her titties hanging out and body parts and child, she's just all over the place. So you decided to block it because God, lived, like I said, divinely led. You got you another empress. I heard that. Maybe you got into another family situation. I don't know. But you got somebody else. It looks like God is leading you to another. So if you're not, 
in with somebody else by you doing the right thing and making the right moves, God led you because he knew the, your intentions of your heart. So you already see the thing is the action already in your heart and then you follow your heart and make those steps is what you did masculine. So you ended up, he led you to another empress. Okay. Okay. King of Pentecost. Yes. And you ended up marrying this person too. Yeah, it happened quickly. Ooh, this is, ooh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, the emperor, empress. Yeah, and you're about to have a baby by this new baby mama. But this is going to be your empress though. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, you got that good, good, honey. And you and you doing it the right way. That's what's up, okay? It's ordained by God. Okay, it ain't nothing this whoever can do about this energy. She just need to sit down and just let you know. Just whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. You don't have to interact in this baby mama energy, okay? She's already doing too much. God has already beaten that ass for her getting and dibbling, dabbling with the family dark darkness, okay? That's not working, okay, because you're too touched. You're too highly favored and blessed. You're always going to get a new beginning, okay? You hold the magic stick, period, poo, and it's given to you by God, period, okay? And this bitch, it can't do nothing but just look. She feel like she's stuck in a rock and a hard spot. I'm hearing midlife crisis. I don't know. And she mad and spying on you and everything, seeing how strong and resilient you are. She looking at you with this other lover, Gemini. Oh my gosh, she jelly. Oh my gosh, she jelly or he jelly. And she feeling like, ah, look how he looking. Look at his face. Okay. Because you get this ace and she's right here. So you can grow and be fruitful with your empress as, as you should. And here she is right here. So anyway, you know what? You already doing what you doing. She already a queen of pentacles anyway. So I don't know what the hell she complaining for. Child, because she she's she she didn't win. She's this is a narcissist energy. She gotta win at all costs. It's a heavy burden because she can't things aren't going her way. It could be a Libra with this justice card. Maybe she did think you was a two of cups with the queen of swords energy. Yeah, but that bitch. She tried to act single, like she was not, this is not a mother who you thought, that, I mean, this is not an example mother. That's all I'm saying, whoever from your past this lady is, or woman, or man, she's sad about the investments, it was nothing but a heavy burden to her. Well, bitch, and what you complaining for? Because she's mad that you ended up getting married to somebody else or with somebody else, that's all it is, and they probably look better than her, okay, or have more cooth or structure or discipline in everything while she is single and feeling some kind of way like it's a missed opportunity with you. And it was. And it is. But, um, yeah. Gemini males, that's in your energy. You you know what? Yeah. She thought she was going to do something with the devil. I don't know. Have you walking on thin ice or tight ropes or something going crazy. Because she wanted to win at all costs. But God said, no. Touch not my anointed. Okay? Yeah. Don't touch my anointed. Because all this is all this, this is going to happen to you. So maybe she's going through some like death-like endings. You know, things aren't going on right in her life. She just need to focus on her and her kids or her family or her his kids, however this goes. But I'm getting heavy masculine energy that I'm picking up. So, yeah. Gemini, that's been your reading. I hope this helps. I love you so much. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.